I don't need to win. Not very tall, could be by you. Hello, Hammerheads. Thanks for tuning in. Well, it is now 20 past 6 p.m. <laughs> My stepdad, right, is supposed to drop Molly off at 11 a.m. today because he's going to a wedding or some such function, I don't know. For a couple of hours, maybe it was arranged weeks ago, you know what I mean? But um, I was supposed to be meeting some friends in Newcastle at 2 p.m. today. And, um, well, I can safely say those plans are now well and truly scuppered. Because by the time he gets back, Gets the dog, he was supposed to be giving me a lift to Hewith as well, so I can get the metro. That's down the bog now, because judging by the amount of hours he's been away, he's probably been drinking and drinking and drinking. He's probably left his car somewhere and all. He can't drive it when he's sober properly, because he confuses him after a skinful. God knows when he's lighting it. But anyway... Where is he, they? Molly, where is he? Hey, Took her out a couple of times, you know. And she's still threatened and... Me, 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 where is he? Following me around all over the place. I had a shower, a shave, the bloody lot. And she's in the bathroom with me. And in the bedroom, getting ready. In there, go in the kitchen. Get a bit of gammon left over from Christmas. Nom, 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 mustard on. Chuck her a bit. Me. Turns and all, there, Robert. Fucking gammon. I don't want that. I think it's because he's missing him. She'll eat anything, uh, Anything. Tell you something now. I could empty the contents of my kitchen bin all over the fucking kitchen floor. She'll leave what she can't eat. Believe me. So I've been in the kitchen loads of times cooking. Chucked it all sorts down. You know, I'm Bacon rind, fair enough. Raw chicken, funny enough, animals like that. We would get salmonella. This, that, you know, one time I, my stepdad, John, called her into the living room. You know, distraction. Played good on my part, no. So I took my boot off then. And then I called her back in at the kitchen while I was still busy cooking. What have I got for you now? Chucks me boot down, I did. I tell you what, fucking edit. Well, I don't know if it edited or not. But it's just, from that point onwards, never found that boot again. It's a good quality boot as well. British made. A fucking, you know, I, I, I got it from the fucking Harvey, Army and Navy surplus. Years ago. Remember monkey boots? It was one of them. Oh, I think I only had one. <laughs> That's why I can't find it. But where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he, Molly? <sighs> Talk about impatience. You know, can't go out now. It's going to be too late by the time I get the fucking Hewith. Get a fucking metro. Or however I'm going to get the Newcastle, find out what pub they're all in now. Because I keep getting notifications on Facebook, you're like, oh, we're in this pub now, we're in this, this pub now. And we're, we're supposed to meet in the Centurion and Sentinel fucking station, but that was a lifetime ago. First night in Newcastle in a long time, well, since last year, since last March, was it April? Nevertheless, first time out in Newcastle for a pretty long time and <laughs> John's memory being what it is, my stepdad he's eighty four, right? And you you probably know about this. Your regular viewers anyhow. About his memory and his dementia and that. Um Dog's tummy keeps making funny noises. And knowing him he's probably forgotten all about the dog. You know, 
he'll go home right before he comes here and wonder where he'll, he'll put the key in the lock oh where's molly oh no i've been burgled even though the doors are intact and everything i've been burgled someone's pinched me shit too you know he'll be ringing me up this is before he organises a fucking search party for the bloody little shit. <laughs> Sorry, Molly. <laughs> Bringing me up, asking where the dog is. Have you seen me dog? I've lost me dog. Someone's pinched it. Oh, God. John, he's round here. And so am I, unfortunately. <laughs> where else am I going to be? It's at Newcastle. Dream on, Trev. You know what I mean? Well... French. Got enough weed for a couple of spliffs. So it looks like it's just me and me tonight again. And Molly, <laughs> if he doesn't carry his skates on and hurry the fuck up, because. Yeah. Six and a half hours. Six and a half hours. Well. Six hours and 35 minutes now, to be precise. And he was late to start off with because he's supposed to show up, like I say, 11 o'clock in the morning. I got up at half ten. And from I'm on two weeks holiday from work. And me getting up at half ten in the fucking morning on a Saturday is a sin. It's unheard of. It's unheard of in my vocabulary, in my fucking Bible, in fact. My atheist lying in bed all day because you're a lazy bastard Bible. That Bible, not the traditional one, you know, the Old Testament, the New Testament. My Bible is the extra New Testament. Mm. The old set of rules in there. What do you reckon of that, Molly? <laughs> <laughs> I love the way your head jumps up when she's asleep. Like, Pretending to be asleep, are you? Come here. You know, this ain't good by a lamb shot. Oh, God, it's not good at all. I'll tell you what, right? <clears throat> what we're going to do, eh? What we're going to do. Do you have a game of... Mm. I haven't got my South African Monopoly board anymore. Somebody damaged it. However... I do have plenty of play PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 3 games. You, part, you, you care to partake, Molly? Uh, um, your stomach's waiting for the noises, so, girl. <laughs> Keep calm, my son. GTO? Part three or Resident Evil Four. Your choice. Alright, you're gonna make a decision then, eh? <laughs> Alright, right, right, I get you. Resident Evil Four it is then. See you in a bit. <laughs>